What are you trying to do? Beyond the target. Well, you learned that as a white belt. Yep. Watching movies. No. <laughs> you're aiming to respond in all cases. Here, okay. Your intent is to respond. <laughs> That's my point. Yeah. It doesn't matter if I'm here. It doesn't matter if I'm here. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to control his spine. Okay? So every time I throw something, that is its ultimate goal. I'm aiming for his spine. Okay? So instead of, because I don't really have a target, and if I think deeper, what's deeper? Put this over here because I like to say right. nice. <laughs> If I, I'm thinking deeper, what's yeah. deeper? If I hit here, see how it turns? Does it look like push hands dissipating the energy? I don't want that. So I want his spine. So when I'm aiming, that's where it has to go. Okay? And if you get fuzzy on that, then he starts playing games with you because he knows how to avoid it. <laughs> okay? Make sense? Yes. So the reason I say vertical fist is because when you try and prone it, most people bring this up. They haven't mastered this. Okay? So do it with a vertical fist and pretend you're doing Ishimu. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's when do it that way. The way boxers, old time boxers, used to practice their jabs was they'd stand against the wall. So they knew that they couldn't do this. Okay? So they. Because they have to keep it. You may have remembered somebody telling you that you rode against your ribs. It's the reason they don't want it to come out. Okay? Uh, the point I was making with them is my intent when I'm striking somebody is always their spine. Also, okay? Uh, if I'm striking him here, he's going to do that through the push hand thing and it's going to dissipate, right? Even if I'm here, I want his spine. I don't want here, I don't want there, I don't want, I want to control his spine. Okay? If I'm doing a wrist lock, okay? Mm -hmm. If I'm doing this, mm -hmm. I've got okay. a connection. Yeah, strong. Right? I can, you can feel it, okay? Yeah, if he flexes right out of it, through. that connection is gone. So now I'm just battling his wrist and I'm not controlling him. So I've got to get it back. Feel it now? Mm -hmm. Now I've got spine again. And now I can control him. Mm -hmm. If I don't, I got nothing. Okay? So it's always fun. Right, it's mm -hmm. You don't have it, right? I gotta do one, it's not much. Okay. <laughs> Orient yourself sure. to where you can now see it? Okay. <laughs> now you got this control of the spine. Mm -hmm. okay. of energy. So you, you, you just move to wherever you establish there you go. Okay. Wherever you establish control. Okay? Mm -hmm. I got nothing. Now I got it. I got nothing. So I have, now I got it. Yeah. Feel it different? Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean you have to physically move yourself. You have to move him, but your intent is always there. It's never anywhere else. Here, I got nothing. He's going to hit me with the other hand. He's going to do something. There, I've got something. And you can see his whole body shifts because mm -hmm. I'm trying to maintain control of his spine. Same thing striking, if I'm over here, okay, what do I want? I want spine. Feel it? Yeah. Okay? I don't have it. Okay? I don't have it. Spine. I don't have to be directly in line either, okay? I can be here, but it has to feel the difference? Yeah. yeah. This is no good. That's fine. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's what I need to take control. If I don't have that, I don't have control. Okay? Mm -hmm. And the shots feel different. I'm not, I'm not hitting you <laughs> hard. It's just that I, I have that target in my mind, and that's where I'm going for. The same thing happens here. I don't have it. Now I got it. Okay? It it's, seems a hard thing to judge, but once you get the feeling for it, it'll make a lot of sense to you. 
So just give it a show you of aim back there. Yeah. Okay. It's a problem with intent. Does that make sense? That one is. Okay. Uh, <laughs> intent is something else we don't talk a lot about. This way. But you have uh, skiers will do it. They'll visualize what they're supposed to do. Okay. If you don't have intent, the techniques don't work. Okay. Because techniques are just physical manifestations of intent. And goddamn, that'd be a great T-shirt. Uh, <laughs> This is a physical technique. Okay, there's no intent. But if I intend, I don't even have to really put much more on it. I, it just changes, okay? I have to intend that this is gonna hurt. But I also have to intend that when I'm doing it, I really want to get control of your spine, because now you're mine. You see it? If I'm just doing your wrist, right? Get the spine. Now I got you. See how fast it switches? Okay. Now I've known guys that they've been doing push hands, okay, and they're just moving the arm around until they decide it's time to take control of her spine. And all of a sudden she moves the way I want her to move, okay, and then they switch it back to just arms. <laughs> okay, and then they switch it back. So all of a sudden she moves the way I want her to move. Okay? There are subtleties to this that you don't pick up right away. All right? But that's what's going on. Because their desire is to control your body. And your body will adapt to rhythms that are put in it. Okay? So that I just change the rhythm. Mm -hmm. And you're picking it up. If I slow it down. You're still going at it, and that takes you a while to catch up. So I change it again. And when you see boxers talking about broken time, okay, they will adopt. One, two, three. One, two, three. Because they know you'll get used to that. Then they'll go, one, two. <laughs> because they broke the rhythm that you're used to. Okay? And their entire techniques in a lot of things where they'll make you pay attention to this arm and then BAM! Because you're so, so focused on what's going on here that it's going to come out of nowhere. And they know it. That's why they do it. Okay? And so it seems like a lot because we just started from 